Serving the River City. Proud of the past and excited about the future. I pretty much I'll make sure the station stays on the air. Uh, program the uh, network operations part of it. Take care of the radio auction. Mm -hmm. you know, things of that general name. This is radio station WGAI, 56 AM Stereo, serving you from Elizabeth City, North Carolina. WGAI Radio Auction, saving shoppers hundreds of dollars daily. We have merchandise that you can purchase at incredible savings, Monday through Friday at 10 o'clock. I had a mention, don't wait until we tell you the price. Do like him to get in here because we are a discount store. Dis Terry. Terry. It's 12.05. Some of the stories we'll look at this afternoon. EEOC, three workers charged with sexual harassment at Norfolk Ford Plant. The Relay for Life uh, in the American Cancer Society will be having a fish fry, sponsored by the VFW Post 66 Club. main transmitter, Raytheon, built back in the late 40s, AM stereo. This is an uh, electron tube that goes in our Raytheon transmitter, an 833. Transmitter uses four of these, two for the audio and two to make the radio signal. Um, Voltage-wise it takes to run this. Nearly 3,000 volt. A uh, tube like this will, will last me about five, six years before I have to change and put a new set in. But a uh, tube like this, two of them will give us a thousand watts power. And um, actually sounds better than most transmitters out there today. Using this is our backup transmitter. We can use to be on the air while we're doing maintenance on the other one. And one day and that was all she wrote off the air she went and it had a has a grid and filament short it requires 3000 volts on the plate which is the outer part that you see and then you have a voltage on the filaments which actually makes it light up all of our monitoring equipment over the air monitoring our air processing equipment uh, we can monitor what our antennas are doing. It's where our talk show host sit. It's been in there as our production room. Pretty standard, nothing uh, too big. Our general manager records his morning news and his commercials. Uh, this right here on the tripod is uh, looking at Galaxy 6, uh -huh. which is what we get our agronet feed off of same satellite we uplink off of for a ray communication. Uh -huh. I have a larger dish up ahead of that with a 2x4s behind it. It's for um, University of North Carolina Sports. And the front dish up closest to the road is where we get all of our network programming for talk and sports and news and stuff. stuff. The networking and the, well, the circuitry that when it loads all the radio signal into the antenna, this uh, matches everything up. And that in amps is how much RF or radio signal is present on this tower. Almost 9 amps which is uh, more than enough to kill you. And if one were to grab the tower it would leave a nasty bird. Now that's actually um, part of the tower itself. Back in the late 70s early 80s 
So I had to climb up both of these towers and add a 50 foot pole to the top of each tower to make everything operate right and make the FCC happy. Uh, both of these towers are about 320 feet tall. This here is where all the RF comes out of this box. It goes up to the tower radials is the other half of the antenna. The half that you see above ground is one half of it. The other half is a counterpoise that allows the signal to propagate out to where it needs to go. And there are a set that runs around this tower. And there's a set that runs around that tower over there. AM Stereo. Used on 56 Elizabeth City. WGAI. WGAI keeps you happy.